Hello everyone, it's me Esteban again and I'm back for another Power Rangers review for you guys today. And today we're going to be reviewing from Power Rangers Mega Force, Ultra Mode, Pink Ranger, from Bandai. So yeah, before we get to the actual figure, she comes with a card. So you can see the picture of the ranger on the card. Turn it around to the back. You could turn it around to the back. You can see the Power Rangers action card game. And this car works in your Gosei Morpher and the Power Ranger Car Scanner app. So yeah, now here's the figure. Uh, articulation on the figure is head articulation. I could go all the way around like so. Bend in the arms like so. Go all the way around like that. Go to the side. Hands and arms you rotate. Bend in the knees, and boot and leg, turn around. That's it, pretty much. That's it for the articulation of the figure. Now, detail on here on the Mega Force Pink Ranger, you can see the pink helmet, the phoenix on her side, you can see her Ultramo staff, the holster over here, turn her around, you can see her blaster, and the Gosei Morpher, you can see the nice um, Phoenix logo on her chest, nice um, belt, nice pink and white, turn it around to the side, nice pink and white also, nice a lot of paint and nice a lot of, nice a lot of paint and detail on the figure, and yeah, just a really nice forward trigger. So yeah, that's it for Pink Ranger. Putting her car back over here, and now we're going to move on. To some size comparisons. Okay, guys, I'm back, and for my size comparison, you can see the Mega Force Pink Ranger Ultra Mode next to the Pink Samurai Ranger from Power Ranger Samurai and the Mega Force Blue Ranger from Power Ranger Mega Force. So she's in good scale with a Ranger from her team as well as a Ranger from another team. She's also in good scale with the Power Rangers Weta from the 2010 line. So she's in good scale with Vinnins and Power Rangers from the 2010 line. And she's a lot bigger than the Gamora from the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 pack, as well as the Kamala Dragon Knight figure. But she's also in good scale with them. But she's way too small to be in scale with the Ninja Steel Lion Fire Armor Red Ranger figure. So yeah, she's in good scale with 4 inch figures, but she's not in good scale with 5 inch figures. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Power Rangers Mega Force? Ultra Mode Pink Ranger figure from Bandai. I think it would be nice with a figure. It has good de a decent enough detail, decent enough articulation, decent enough portability. If you want a little bit of a shinier figure, you could get the metallic version. But same scale though. But if you're a fan of the 4 inch line, I highly recommend it. If you're not a fan of the 5 inch line, I recommend the 4 inch line. If you're a fan of Power Rangers Mega Force, I highly recommend it. And if you're a toy collector, I highly recommend it. And if you're just a Ponder collector in general, I highly recommend this figure. You might have to check on Amazon and eBay because this is an old figure. But I recommend checking out those two websites. And yeah, I would be recommended. If you're a Forge collector, I highly recommend it. If you're a Ponder fan, I highly recommend it. And you like to go with Forge instead of 5 inch, I highly recommend this figure. It's a really nice figure. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I have plenty more Power Ranger reviews on the way. As well as other reviews on the way. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.